Hey guys, this is KennoDVT here, bringing you a game of League of Legends with myself, Hoff is Liberal, and Philane. Philane is a good friend of mine and has been a good friend of mine for most of my life. Hoff is Liberal is one of my high school friends who has just recently gotten to LOL. Philane is level 29 and Hoff is Liberal is, I think, level 8 at this point in time, but is now approximately level 16 and he's still kind of learning the game and he's actually a very good player for what level he is mostly because me and a few other level 30s have basically information dumped on him and as this is a lower level game played with lower level people I decided to try out the new Trindamir. This game was just after the Trindamir patch when they had him completely reworked so I had never played him before. Well the new one that is. I played the old one I've played about 40, 50 games of him and bought Highland Trindomir. I'm now regretting that because the classic Trindomir skin now looks amazing. Uh, so, Felane playing good old Master Yi, quite an easy champion to play. Uh, with Karthus and Timu as support. We don't really have a tank, but at this level I really don't care. It doesn't matter that much. We do have Katarina, which does give me a little bit of pause because as some people know Katarina is one of those champions which early on in the levels they can just rape. Um, Fiddlesticks, Olaf, Garen, Master Yi, so interesting team comp. Um, I have played Trindamir a fair amount and I used to play Gangplank a lot. I got really really good at him, got a nice crits rune page running, giving me 13% crit off the bat with Masteries giving me 2% more, then build 2 infinity an Infinity Edge and two Phantom Dancers and woohoo, I'm done. So I am in this game basically telling Hoff what to build, so this is the way that I build Gangplank and that's how I like him to work. Karthus as per normal is taking bot, I'm taking top, I believe Philane goes with me, Hoff and the Timu goes bot. So the new Trindamir looks very cool, he does push-ups. I just skilled my as per normal. Uh, for those of you who hadn't seen my other League of Legends gameplay, yes, this is what my HUD looks like. Deal with it. Um, the reason I swap my minimap around, I also down the HUD, the chat scale, because in my opinion, not much useful actually gets said in chat. Um, but I put the minimap to the left because I quite. I play a lot of RTS's, StarCraft 2 for instance, and StarCraft 2, the minimap's down there, so I kept glancing down there, and that's why I flipped it. Um, so yeah, this is how I build uh, Gangplank, I get a Mechie Pendant and two things on top of my crit things and skill queue first. Getting into a little bit of an engagement here with Olaf, not exactly sure what he skilled first, but we shall see. Off his liberal moving forward, about to run into a Yi and Katarina, not a good laning combo, and I just get killed by a Garen and an Olaf, so clearly did not see that one coming. Um, Karthus making them sad faces at me. Um, oh gods, not this, not this again. Jesus, I keep... <laughs> I'm not used to recording in League of Legends, so whenever it comes back to spawn I'm like, ooh, let's go do something! And I click and then right click and like anywhere and it just it completely messes up your perspective. I mean you can do that, which is just ridiculous. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That looks slightly more normal. Um, so yeah, it it should be an interesting laning combo on top with... Um, oh god, it's Olaf and Garen. Olaf and Garen being not particularly ideal. One second. Sorry about that short interlude. Someone... Um, someone... Skype messaged me and I just wanted to see what it's about so we're just going to get back to normal playtime and uh, going to see a little bit of an engagement go down between me, Garen and Olaf. Um, Felane is not as an aggressive player as I would like sometimes. He plays a little too passively for my liking um, and as such I end up occasionally running into situations which are not particularly healthy um, but being trend to me at low health you tend to crit and you tend to crit for a lot. Uh, well, you need high fury to crit now, so that's a bit different. But if you have 100 fury, you've got like 35% extra crit. Phil sticks on mid, not exactly sure how I like that. I mean, Karthus um, can just plant them Qs and tear him to shreds. Uh, Yi and Katarina, not particularly a good laning combo in my opinion, especially not versus a reasonably new uh, Gangplank 
and I have no idea how good Timu is, uh, but Yi and Katarina could make their life a fair amount of hell. Uh, just as as Gangplank, what I like to do is you just spam your Q, that's all you have to do to kill people. Um, so again, I'm back on full health after popping both my pots and consuming a few times. Uh, Master Yi still a little bit low, getting um, three things. Me being a little bit too aggressive. Uh, Master Yi coming in, seeing what he can do. Garen and Olaf really not capitalizing on the potential to kill me, to be honest. Um, let's see, what are people building? Fiddle, lots of Doron's items. Um, lots of Doron's items. A uh, few pots here and there. Master Yi on the other team getting Vampire Acceptor. What I tend to think of as lower level builds. Lower level builds um, can tend to just be pretty simple and recommended, uh, but not always. Um, how are people's last hits going? Mine's at 10, which is pretty good. Felane's at 5, which is not particularly good. Karthus is at 14, which is quite nice. And Timu at 9, as you would expect, given his range. Hoff, not being experienced in last hitting, is only 2. Uh, so Yi is going to... Very nice, very nice. Always make sure you can crit... So you, you do that to someone who's in range. And the Mechie Pennant allows you to have lots of mana. So I'm currently under attack from... I don't actually know what. Uh, so laning phase going interestingly. Um, no one's really come out with the clear dominance. I'm the only one who's died, and that was because of, as I recall, a little bit of miscommunication between me and my laning partner. I said go in, and he was like, no, no, no. But I just expected because I was the level 30 and he was the level 16 that he would just listen to me and do it. Um, so yeah, that's not going amazingly well. Uh, just tower hugging at the moment, waiting till 6 pretty much at that point. I will then strike and then see what I can do, given I will then be invincible. Critting for 207 right now, which is pretty good. On Trindamir, I tend to run... Well, in this case I ran armor pen runes, because I find that crit chance runes are not really necessary on Trindamir. You only need, really need 2 crit items to get to 100% anyway. Um, so I just find that you don't need to run crit runes on him, much better to run armor pen and start hitting for true damage on people much, much quicker. Garen would currently be taking about 10% less damage from me, minions will be taking true damage. For those of you who don't know, armor and magic pen cannot actually send you into negative. Uh, Carter's getting the first kill on our team versus a Phil Six, and Carthus is a good fun champion to play. Um, he's one of those champions which a lot of people think they're very good because they can get fed as him most games because all you have to do is press R, like you're a skilled boss. Um, and he's a very valid champion and be, can be quite powerful and quite annoying, but a lot of people seem to think, I'm pro because I'm going to play Carthus. Um, and in my opinion, that's just not accurate in some cases. Uh, so he's the first player in the game to get his ulti, uh, able to use it on Fiddle 6 to great effect. He's going to go back and purchase uh, spell pen boots and some AP. Nothing wrong with that at all. Garen going to see if he can get a bit cheeky right here, see what he can do about it. Apparently not very much. Uh, Timu, I wonder if he's cloaked. Well, there he goes cloaking. Um, Hoff applying his passive onto his Q, very very nice. I do very much like that change, however, with red buff, Gangplank is now a little evil. Uh, Fiddlesticks going tate a tate with uh, Karthus on middle. Um, I think Karthus has the advantage here, and I think that's because Fiddlesticks' drain does not have a particularly amazing range. Like, to start it, it doesn't have an amazing range, but then to finish it, it has quite a spectacular range. Um, there we go, second kill of the game, getting Katarina, and Hoff may even be able to get Master Yi. Uh, the health bar is up here, he's currently on 100 health. Hoff is a liberal, gets a nice kill on him right there, and I'm looking down here so I can see what their health bars look like. Uh, me and Felane yet to kill the opponent, but that shouldn't be too difficult now that I have my ulti in a few minion kills. Uh, Fiddle coming top for a gank should be interesting. Um, I'm really looking forward to Dominion. 
just getting off topic while nothing particularly interesting is happening. I mean, we're taking a tower on bot. Woohoo! We're nothing, nothing. I'm really looking forward to the concept of Dominion. Dominion is just cool. Um, I'm currently trying to bait a fight right here, just see if I can actually get anything happening. Uh, but I really like the concept of a shorter game of League of Legends because that's currently one of my problems with the game. There is no shorter game. Um, and I wouldn't mind having shorter games to commentate as well. And I think Dominion um, is a very nice way to show teamwork and stuff like that. Whereas I, I feel in Dominion there could be the potential to skip the first 20 minutes of laning phase and just skip straight to the mid game. Because the laning phase is shorter, you earn gold faster, etc, etc. Uh, so we're all level 6 except for Felane and um, now I'm going to actually see if I can do something because as you all know Trindomir's ulti makes him kind of evil. Um, Gangplank is also level 6 at this point I believe so I think I can't remember if we just said double ping is um, cast your ulti here or we just shouted it out of event cast your ulti here. Um, Karth is getting a kill on Yi, quite nice. Um, I'm in a little bit of trouble right now, and I believe I used my ultimate? Yes, I do. Um, Felaine able to get that kill on Garen, and I'm just going to come in and give him a little bit of assistance. Felaine picking up the double kill with a crit, I would assume, because that was quite a large chunk of health missing. Um, so, yeah, I mean... That was a well done team, that was a well done fight by us, but I've seen better, I've seen worse. Uh, they probably shouldn't have engaged very well, very much at all. Uh, I don't really like that I cannot see his cues. It means it means I can't really tell you what's going on, what's where, that kind of thing. Um, do I buy anything on this trip? I should. I buy an Everest Blade and attack speed boots. Nothing wrong with that at all. Has Gangplank gone back yet? No, he has not. He probably should. So, my skilling order on Gangplank is, even though this is not favoured by some people, Q, W, Q, W, Q, R, Q, W, Q, W, E, W? I can't remember. But basically, skew Q and W, and just ignore E, because you don't really need it. Um, Karthus able to pick up quite a nice kill there on Fiddle 6. No idea what he was still doing there. I think he was about to drain a minion, so I was like, oh yeah, I can survive. Um, Karthus, as I recall, ends up getting quite fed in this game. Ye coming up, uh, gonna see what he can do to support me. He just was able to pick up a BF Sword, so that's quite nice. A BF Sword at this stage on the game is, uh, not too shabby. Uh, let's look at the CS right now. I'm at 36. Ooh, bit of a fight going on. I'm under quite a bit of strain, and unfortunately my ulti's not up yet. What am I going to do? I'm going to wait, then I'm going to cast my ulti. Um, so I was able to cast my ulti before he cast his um, ulti, and got kind of lucky. And Falane picks up the double kill again. So, very, very nice by him. Nice pickup. He should be able to he should have earned some quite nice dosh from that. Um, bot lane, doing a nice bit of pushing. Office Liberal still yet to go back and buy any extra items. Um, I tend to build a Chariots of Harmony. Uh, I tend to go back as soon as I have 500 gold and buy a Clarence of Harmony. A uh, Chariots of Harmony. Some, I'll just show it to you. Um, magic. That thing. I tend to buy that when I have 500 gold after buying the Mechie Pendant first, and then you can just stay in lane until you can afford a BF Sword, basically because of your W and the fact you never run out of mana. Um, uh, I'm just going to, I think we're going to go down and get Felane Blue because, well, he could really use it as Master E, and I really can't. Uh, my crit at the moment is not amazingly special, it's only 35%. Only 35%, that's still quite a lot. Um, it is currently 10-1, so we are kind of reaping face. I think Fiddlesticks is about to get his ass kicked. Uh, yep, there he goes. At this point in time, it's actually a bit evil, the amount we are winning. Felane is 2-0, 2-0, 3-0, 2-0, 0-1-4. Um, I was still trying to get rid of, used to the Trindomir rework. So I wasn't playing apt 
my best. I think I do end up pulling out quite a nice score though. Because Trindamamp, even though they said they were aiming to change that, you get an Infinity Edge, you still kill people really, really fast. So Karthus going bot, getting a kill or two, doing quite nice, gonna get some stacks on their Magi's. Um, I'm in a lot of trouble right now. I really don't know why they're focusing me first the entire time because Master Yi is by far the bigger threat. Um, and given I have my ultimate, it seems counterintuitive. Uh, maybe they're just trying to make me pop my ulti deliberately, although maybe they're just level 16 noobs who don't really know what they're doing, which in my opinion is probably more likely. Um, Olaf is... Uh, Olaf is the one champion in this game who I actually fear. I once had this fed Olaf who went um, about 10-0. I didn't even get that impressive items. I can't remember what his build was, but he could just 1v5 us. And I was like... And I just had no idea what to do against him. We got Thor mail, we got armor, and he was still just ripping us to shreds. Um, I think this is going to be a case where Fiddlesticks is going to die yet again. Yep. And... Is Teamer going to die to Master Yi? It looks like it. However, he may get away. I don't know. The non seeing of health bars is not particularly useful at that point in time. Hoff just pushing down that tower, doing a very, very nice job of being a gangplank, basically. I think we'll find Teemu is about to die. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Yi getting a nice exhaust there. And I think that's goodbye for Timu. Um, I was going to go and help him, but I didn't quite get there in time. Currently have 860 gold. Uh, Marcy, you're just running away through a couple of bushes. Hoff is liberal. Uh, getting ganked a little bit by Fiddlesticks should be alright, but you never know. Master Yi should be at a whole top tower. What am I doing? Just a little bit of jungle. Because jungling on him is fairly easy. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Not much. Uh, Hoff is level getting a very nice killing spree, especially considering his level at the time and that this was the first game he's ever played as Gangplank, so props to him. Uh, for lane, able to hold his lane quite efficiently. I mean, his alpha strike... I really don't like that new patch. So for those of you who don't know, in the latest patch, Alpha Strike now procs an auto attack. So all Master E's now have to do once they're a little bit fed is wait till they're at 7th, then Q to you, and suddenly you just lost uh, 1600 HP. Yay. Um, so I currently have 2k gold, could probably go back and buy a BF Sword right now, would not be a bad idea. Uh, let's see what Timu can make of this Fiddlesticks coming up behind him, placing a Shroom, which means he may have to run through it. I'm looking there right now so we can see the health bars. Uh, I stopped looking there, which is annoying. Uh, where am I looking? I wish there was a way to find out. It appears I'm just looking at red. How boring. Um, Karthus and Felaine doing a very, very nice job of killing top. Karthus currently on six Magi stacks, so not too shabby, not too shabby. That's about the point where the item starts to pay itself off. Oh, let's see if we can kill Fiddlesticks. I was. I was able to kill Fiddlesticks. Ignite uh, did help me right there. Uh, Hoff taking his first death, unfortunately, and I'm going to go have to support his bot lane. I think... Pardon me, I think at this point I can probably deal with Yi, but who knows, maybe Yi will pull some fantastic stunt. Uh, just trying to get my fury up, i.e. my crit chance, and going to apply exhaust and go for the kill. Applying mocking scout as well, and he's going to turn and fight. Uh, casting my ulti just to be sure, and that was a fairly safe gank. There was no real threat to me at all, given my undying rage. And if he's going to keep running, he may have even run into that shroom. Uh, so Karthus and Felaine currently pushing up top lane quite aggressively. Nothing wrong with that. Hoff is liberal now heading out to the battlefield with a cloak of agility. And Karthus just, you know, doing his thing. Um, and what I said earlier is not to devalue Karthus players, but I have seen Karthuses who have been like, I can play Karthus well. I equal lead to pro. Um, 
and then sometimes they turn out to be really shit, but sometimes they turn out to be really good. And it's not to devalue Karthus, I think he's a really useful champion, but I think in some cases he's not used to his potential. Ooh! Uh, Fiddlesticks ulti coming in! And doing jack shit. I think he got a little bit damage on Teemo, but not much at all. Uh, I'm gonna come in and take Dragon, I think. I think I'm just gonna ignore mid because I really don't think Teemo needs help because Fiddlesticks is not hard to deal with. Uh, Philane getting blue for himself because Master Yi doesn't have much mana and his abilities can be quite pricey. Not exactly sure how we can see Katarina, but we can. Uh, hitting her with a Q or two before she moves. Very nice Karthus. We can still. Oh, uh, no, wait, there she's gone. And we just took Dragon for the team, which is quite a nice thing to do at all times. Uh, and I think we're just going to come up behind Fiddlesticks and see what we can do about him. Getting a very nice ulti by Hoff. And ulti in Q, that's all you need to do is Gangplank right now. Gangplank, just queuing away. When you start to hit uh, Parlay crits, that's when it starts to get a little bit scary. <sighs> Pardon me, not much sleep last night. Um, I'm trying to run away, currently using Endless Rage, and I think I'm just going to E through the wall and get killed midway. Um, I really like the new death animations for Trendymere where you get struck by your own sword. Um, Karthus, going to see what he can do about this meditating Master Yi, but doesn't appear to be all that much. Both of them are getting away on low health. Uh, damn. What an alpha strike. S such a pity that didn't actually kill him. Hoff, I believe, though, came in and stole the kill. So currently the team score is 22-4. This is what rapage looks like. Little bit. This is what pub stomping looks like when you have a level 30 Yi and a level 30 Trindamir. Well, Yi was about 27, but close enough. Tier 3 runes and most of his rune page filled up. Oh, gods. Fed Karthus. So Karthus now has 13 stacks, which is quite nice, and they surrendered. This is Kano DVT with the GG. Well played. That's something that I recommend everyone does at the end of their games because it just makes. I hate people who say things like GG no re in LOL games and bad game. This is Keno DVT signing off. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, all of those would be really nice. There's a thumbs up button for a reason, uh, so you can click it, I hope. Please comment on my build, my videos, my quality, my audio, whether I'm boring, shit, crap. I don't know. That's your call. This is Keno DVT signing off, and I hope you have a nice day.